to my channel welcome back to a brand new video for the first time ever i have finally bought myself a ring light of which i'm using now let me know your thoughts it feels fairly bright for me anyway i feel like more of a professional that's for sure uh but yeah i am starting 2020 with a fresh new start and a fresh new ring light i am doing a bit of a kitchen in fact a bit of a huge kitchen clear out clean reorganize that kind of thing i love a good clear out i feel like it makes me so much less stressed more organized more motivated that kind of thing and our kitchen desperately desperately needs a full clean clear out and everything like that we will hopefully be moving 2020 into our own first house together so this kitchen i kind of make do with what i've got in terms of cupboard space ideally we'd have a little bit more but instead of spending any money on this house i'm saving up all my money for our house together that we'll be getting in the future so this is our kitchen i'm going to be doing a full before showing the process clearing out the entire kitchen cleaning it and then reorganizing everything so that it all has like its own home i have however been shopping and i thought for the first part of this video i'd do a little unbox of all the bits that i have been getting as you can tell i'm a big lover of tk maxx i have a few other little bits in there as well and throughout the rest of this video because i am filming it over the course of a few days if i end up picking up any more bits you'll see within the video those bits later on so um i have been envisaging le creuset white company neptune home that kind of thing and i know that tk maxx have a lot of le creuset so i did check them out first so this one isn't a le creuset pot but it is very similar and i've gone with all black le creuset and some of the white le creuset as well actually black and white it's my kind of thing i just love all the neutrals i found this in the bargain section the yellow ticket you know it's a good bargain when it's got a yellow ticket on it in tk maxx or home sense so this was on final clearance from 94 pounds down to 12 so this was a bargain i got it out of the box it looks just like the cruise it's in black it's the same color on the inside as the le cruise pots are as well from 94 pounds i thought you know it's pretty good solid good brand anyway to to get and then this one is another bargain that i picked up from the yellow clearance from kitchenaid it's like a fairly shallow skillet it's called skillet with lid the only difference is this is in the bargain clearance because it didn't have a lid but the lady who worked at the store there were loads of like random lids on the non-clearance section and there was one that fit this perfectly and she was like just have it so it doesn't have the KitchenAid part on it, but it fits perfectly. So I just picked that up. RRP, £120, down to just 11 Okay, let's just dive in to the cruise, shall we? So the first thing that I did pick up are some mugs. These were pretty easy to find, uh, but they, again, had loads of colours. I just want black and white. So I got these four. I may, if I find any other smaller white ones i might pick up those as well so i got the larger le creuset mugs like latte style mugs in white and these ones are rp15 down to 7.99 these ones are 5.99 from 13.50 oh i'm so excited next big pot they packaged them up beautifully for me so i have this one this le creuset pot that's loud <laughs> and rrp 49 and i got it for 24.99 okay i also got this one which i feel is a good like pie dish suitable for use in dishwasher microwave freezer safe all that jazz 38 pounds down to 12.99 so that was a pretty good discount that one i actually have this which i've had for a while and it's the le creuset cast iron cookbook so i'm going to be referring to this for lots of different recipes to use and you know tips and tricks on how to use each and every individual dish i also got from le creuset this jug this is like just a water jug pitcher and 39 pounds this one retails for but in tk maxx it is 12.99 oh these are so cute okay i actually got two of these because i feel like i would never have an occasion where i just use one so picked up both and they are these little heart-shaped le creuset casserole dishes from 21 pounds down to 6.99 each and this 
yeah, heart-shaped ramekin it says. So you can make some cute little desserts in that. Matchy matchy, I love them. Oh, I did pick up this one in a white actually. Uh, another smaller dish, this one in white. <laughs> 29 pounds down to 7.99. Good little bargain, that one. That makes for a good, I think, single size portion. Now this is a teapot I got. This is quite a good discount, this one. Medium grand teapot, it's called. I obviously went for it in the creamy white kind of color. RRP 44 pounds, and these ones in TK Maxx are 14.99. Okay, so this is like a medium square sized one. Uh, RRP 38 pounds down to 12.99. And then this is a larger size one in comparison. And this one is from £49 down to £16.99. So that's a pretty good discount. These aren't the Prusé, but they are very similar. These salt and pepper mills. My mum actually got me these for like a Christmas Prezi. And they are from Morrison's. They've got a little S and P on the top there. I just love the big wooden, you know, the Cruze style salt and pepper mills. She knows me well because she got me white ones. They actually sell Le Creuset, all the white coloured Le Creuset on White Company as well. So that's the vibe I'm after, as you can tell. And then I've got a load of white lid glass Tupperware, which I feel makes for good storage for any leftovers or little snacks to take to work or whatever. I like the fact that they're glass as well. They can go in the microwave, they can go in the dishwasher. Nice and practical. 7 dollars down to 3 dollars that size. This small one is from 4 dollars down to 2 dollars And then this other medium one is also 3 dollars This larger one is 4 99 and I nearly dropped the one in my arm then. Good job I didn't because it's glass. I also picked up these. I saw quite a few of these. So they have metal straws, but they also have glass straws. They come with these little silicone toppers, but I'm going to take that off because I like the idea of an all glass straw. Pack of four straws at $3.99. Okay, and then I also stocked up on a brand new baking tray and roasting tin, which we use these all the time. So the roasting tin, I feel like we just needed to get rid of ours, to be honest. They were only ever, they were only cheap ones and they've just, they've been well loved, let's just say that. So they're ready for the bin now. This one, RRP, is $11.99, but I got it for $5.99 from the brand Wham. Wham Bam, thank you, ma'am. And then this one is from Tala and it's a roasting pan, $7.99. So these are pretty reasonable and they're really like heavy, good quality ones. And of course in black. They have plenty of silvery grey coloured ones, but you get the vibe, okay? I like black and white. Okay, I also have this to add to my kitchen collection. They are Wittard different kind of coffees for our filter coffee machine. I got an oven pride to clean the oven with. I think that was just home bargain. I got some new detergent, lovely. And to go with the detergent, I got this. This will just go under the sink, which is next to the washing machine. And as you can tell, it's got a little, it's like just a little laundry powder, it says on the front, a little tin in this cream color. Comes with a little scoop, and this is from The Rain. $7.99 that one was. And then I also got from the range six new champagne flutes. They're ribbed, which I really like. And they were only £2.39 each. So yeah, like I said, I've got six of them. So I've got a full set. I love this shape of champagne flute. And let me see if you can see there how it is ribbed. Yeah, they need a good wash and polish, don't they? But cheers. Cheers to 2020. Who did dry jam? I never really need to do dry jam because... To be honest, I barely drink anyway, and it's my birthday in January. So I always like to have a toast to my birthday in January, so I never do it, but let me know if you guys did. Oh, these are cute. I got these in my stocking from my mum for Christmas. They are from Lakeland, it says at the top there. Some new washing up gloves in white. Mum knows me well. And then I did pop into Poundland and picked up an all black dust pan and brush. And then I did pick up these two. I actually got these before I got the nicer baking trays, but it doesn't help to have a couple of spare anyway. So this are, they claim to be non-stick and they're a pound each. This is like a thin shallow roasting tray. 
roasting tray, baking tray. This one's got a bit of a lip there. But uh, claim to be non-stick, we'll see about that. I thought I would test it with these cooking liners as well that you literally just cut to size and put in the bottom so that it doesn't ruin the pan. And then you can just get rid of these or wash them or whatever. So we'll give that a go, but I have got my nicer ones. So these are more for as and when I might need a spare one. Right, okay, that's everything new that I wanted to show you for now. If I do pick anything up, then like I said, I will show you throughout this video. But I feel like the first step and the hardest is going to be to clear out, remove, clean everything, bin a load of old food and spices and stuff that are just old, out of date, clean, and then reorganise. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, we're well into it already. I can see the little timer on my screen, but if you haven't already, grab yourself a nice cozy drink, get comfy, relax. I hope you enjoy it and take some inspiration from this video yourself. Thumbs up if you'd like to see this video for my other rooms. That could be an idea. Let me know in the comments below if that is something that you would like to see. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. So thank you for watching and let's get on with the clear out. First things first, I obviously wanted to give you a good, thorough, in-depth before of what my kitchen looked like. This is on a regular, typical day where it's not too messy, but honestly, it's just so unorganized that um, I was super motivated to get on with filming this video. Let's move over to the dishwasher, sink area. The first cabinet is our coffee and teas and mugs which needed a huge clear out and glassware as well. Then above the sink we keep our pots, mainly like the stainless steel ones but there are a few odd bits and mismatched glasses and everything in there as well which needed sorting through. The under sink was the bit I was actually most excited to sort through just because I feel like once this is organized, it makes such a difference. Then we have one, one and only food cabinet in our kitchen. So again, this needed a big thorough clear out, reorganized so we could actually see what the items are. And then next to that, we keep our crockery and any other pots and pans and plates and that kind of thing, Tupperware all that jazz in that cupboard then these are all the appliances on the work surface and this cupboard in the corner just hides the boiler then the lower cabinets hide the washing machine and also the fridge so because everything is integrated this is why we seem to have you know we struggle a little bit on space cupboard space hence why I needed a big clear out Fridge is very empty, we'd just been away on holiday so there wasn't much in there and pretty much all of it I binned anyway, same with the freezer um, and had a good thorough clean of that. And then this area kind of housed a few odd bits, oils, onions, random stuff, including Tom's protein powder. Then our microwave I did uh, have a big clean of as well. And that is the before of my kitchen. First thing I wanted to get started and on the go was this Dettol 5-in-1 washing machine cleaner. You are recommended to do one of these every couple of months just to make sure that your washing machine is kept sparkling clean as you are washing your clothes in there. You don't want it dirty, do you? So uh, I tend to do this every couple of months. Then I'm gonna switch out the bins, empty them into our outdoor bin and just have a bin bag on the go throughout going through my kitchen. Cause quite often I just, to have the bin bag handy is very easy to just throw things away as and when you get to it. And then I start removing everything from the kitchen and I mean everything. I feel like in order to give your kitchen a deep clean, to have it completely empty as if it's brand new is uh, incredibly easy to clean and wipe down as opposed to doing it cupboard by cupboard. So that is what I'm doing. Together, 
The food cabinet was one that I was dreading and it honestly took so long that I really had to speed this up. I was checking dates on everything, making sure that everything was still in date and if not, getting rid. And then I was very happy to find some chocolate biscuits hidden at the back. Then I also moved on to the fridge and did the exact same thing along with the freezer as well. There was a lot of build up of ice which I had to get a spatula to kind of scratch away uh, but this made a huge difference and obviously created a lot of space in our freezer too. And there we have an empty kitchen ready to be cleaned of which I only used a couple of cleaning products, mostly uh, the floor wipes I just used on all surfaces to get rid of any little bits and grime. Then I went in with the Flash multi-purpose spray which really helps to remove any stubborn stains or you know build up of grease. And then I finished off with the Method Anti-Back in the rhubarb scent which honestly smells incredible. Now time to give the bin a good clean and I first went in with the flash again and then just finished off as you can see now with the method rhubarb antibacterial spray. And then I move on to the fridge which I have cleared out the shelf um, in order to give them a proper wash at first just with some fairy liquid, washing up liquid and then gave the fridge an entire clean with just honestly soapy water, kitchen roll to dry it and then pop the trays back in and this made a world of difference. It is now sparkling, the freezer is a whole new unit which is very small in itself. We do actually have quite a small fridge. That's one thing in a big house that I would prefer is a much bigger fridge. Moving on, quick hoover and mop of the floors. Again, leaves it smelling lovely. Before I start rearranging everything back into the kitchen. As you can see it's sparkling clean and this just makes me so happy and this doesn't <laughs> so a lot to reorganize and put back away I'm starting with the under sink area there was a lot of rearranging and faffing around but once I got my finished result I was very happy now everything's got a home helps keep everything organized I've also done a quick before and after so you can really see the difference. And then moving on to the main sort of big appliances to be put back onto the worktops. I did wipe down and clean each one before putting it in its place. So I'm just going to interject here and bit of a progress, bit of an update since yesterday. I was doing some whilst it was still dark at night so I didn't really film those clips. So I've made a bit of progress and I wanted to jump in here and show you guys where I'm up to so far and I'm hopefully going to finish it all today. So obviously the kitchen is now clean which just makes me so happy. Uh, every single cupboard wiped down inside out. I just find by emptying everything out and then starting afresh is good in two ways. One, you can really deep clean everywhere and two, it makes you ruthless when putting things back 
if it doesn't belong or you don't like it, you're less likely to put it back than to take it out anyway. It's just, I'm really happy, so I'm going to show you my progress. Okay, so just starting with left hand side, bin and everything is clean. I'm also decided that this area I'm going to keep pretty much like so, I think. I like the idea of having this area to eat and work from before I had all the wooden chopping boards and everything there. And I actually like the amount of space here. So that's probably going to stay as is. Dishwasher there. This cupboard is now all of our mugs. Oh, I mean... You know I like black and white, so this really does make me happy. I've got my Le Creuset ones up there and the glass ones, which I'll use these pretty much every day, especially the smaller ones with my Nespresso machine. And then out and about, I take these out with me, these like uh, travel mugs, uh, Nespresso one back there. And then we have all my Starbucks ones here. There's a couple of Christmassy ones back there as well, but that is Starbucks, Starbucks, all my Starbucks. And then up here we have coffees, coffees at the back, teas, ginger and green tea, my milk, creamer and sugar, some water bottles and then all of our glassware up the top. So we have two gin glasses, six champagne flutes, the new ones from the range which I love, um, some like water glasses and we just need wine glasses so I do need to buy some of those. This I'm going to put some pots in, not done anything with that yet. These ones, kind of annoyingly, don't fit in these cupboards because of the depth. So I'm going to have to find a home for these, probably within these, which is, you know, it's going to upset me a little bit because they're not going to be neat and tidy like this one is. Oh, oh my God. All the Le Creuset bits and obviously salt and pepper shakers from Morrison's. I love that we can just like grab salt and pepper and put it over there whilst we are eating. All of our bowls, plates, and everything like that. We've got a nice Le Creuset jug at the back. These I forgot, well, not forgot to show you, but I've, like, they're a new addition since I showed you at the beginning of this video my little haul. And they're little Le Creuset soup bowls, which I just think are so cute. They came in a pack of two, and I think they're about £12. And we've got some glass Tupperware up there, glass measuring jug. So that is that drawer cupboard which is probably my favorite, my new favorite. I need to do the food one now. Fridge is empty, <laughs> it's looking clean, but we need to now do a food shop. I just wanna like get the kitchen finished today and then I'll do that. Uh, is that everything so far? Yeah, oh, these, I actually, this is gonna be our cutlery job, but I just pop these in there for now. This from Shopstyle I got as like a part of a PR package and it had two metal straws in. So I've just added all of our glass straws that I got in there. Okay, I'm gonna get cracking on finishing this kitchen today. I'm just sort of organizing our cutlery drawers at the minute. As you can see, we have quite a lot. And these cutlery drawers, the sizes of them, I cannot, for the life of me, find anywhere dividers that will fit this, because it's quite narrow. So it's a little bit annoying, but for now, what I've done is just kind of categorized, and I'm just gonna keep our gold and matte black sets, because they're the ones I like the most. And then a lot of the others are all mismatched, the coppery ones that I had have all discolored, so I'm just gonna get rid of all of them, have all of this set and just keep it as that. And then the other bits, like the whisk and all these kind of things, measuring cups, will go in this drawer here. So I'm pretty much complete with my kitchen. The only thing left to do is run some hot water, take my new favorite Sephora. I've opened a new one called Winter Morning. I feel like it's appropriate with it being January and really, really cold outside at the moment, nice and crisp and cold air. I feel like the Winter Morning Sephora works well. And I have treated myself to opening a new candle. This is actually uh, one of my Christmas gifts from my parents. 
So I actually got from my parents the winter candle from the White Company and I am just gonna kind of treat and reward myself by lighting myself a brand new candle. And the winter scent goes perfectly with my winter Zaflora. And there we have it, a nice new clean kitchen with everything reorganized, real deep clean and clear out of everything that I don't need. So I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of the after. So obviously my new winter candle, uh, our Nespresso coffee station here. And then like I said, I like to keep this clear now so that we can work here, have dinner here and there's plenty of space. I switched around the prints ever so slightly, I kept that one the same, but I moved the herbs one, which was originally on this wall. And I've just kind of switched these essentially. There was also a letterboard there, but I'm over that now. Got rid of that. So I much prefer that. It's just Decenio, IMFI.com and Ikea. And then we have our doormat from Primark. This kind of seagrass basket to house our recycling before taking it out to the bins. Uh, fresh new tea towels from I, no not from Ikea, from TK Maxx. And then we have nicely cleaned bin, the dishwasher here, the under sink area here, which is looking very clean. And I also added a all black um, dustpan and brush here. This is from Poundland. So that is the under sink area, our nice Zaflora scenting the room. And then up here we have this cupboard, which I showed you earlier, our coffee station and glassware. And then up here we have all like kind of stainless steel cookery items such as colanders, masher, grater, pans and everything like that in there. And then moving over to this section we have our washing machine here and fridge here. And then in these cupboards we have our food cupboard which like I said is looking pretty sparse. We need to do a food shop but we have baking things here, flowers, sugars and everything like that. Tom's protein powder here. Um, eggs and tinned goods will be up here and then dried goods up here like pastas and things like that. Seasoning down here, salt and pepper, which I'm actually going to move these to our salt and pepper grinder mill things. This is going to house garlic. I think there's a little bit in there, but we can get some fresh garlic and put that in there. Our pestle and mortar, we've got some olive oils here. This is currently empty, this uh, canvas bag, but I'm going to put like potatoes and onions in there. All of our spices are in this uh, ceramic pot, which just helps keep them nice and neat and organized. And then this is my favorite cupboard, I'm not gonna lie. I just love the look of it, the aesthetic of it. I'm quite sad that we're gonna actually have to use them. I just want it to look like this forever. And then we have our boiler in there. All of our main appliances here, I like the all black look. So we have the black microwave from AO, this toaster, which matches our kettle over there. I think they were from Home Bargains, maybe. Uh, Tom bought these years ago when he first moved in before I'd even met him. This was from Class Olsen. It's our filled coffee machine. And then over this section, we have... You can see my reflection there. Over this section, we have our wooden chopping boards. I really, you know, strip these down to our three that we need and that's pretty much it as with our knife block this is a multi-use one which is perfect it's from asda it's got like these beads in it which you can just put your knife down into this olive oil is the only thing that will not fit in the food cupboard but i don't mind having it out because it's one of those things that you grab and use on the regular so that's fine there and then we have obviously our oven area here cutlery drawers and then this is our other one, which is pretty full. Um, but yeah, is what it is. We're kind of limited with cupboard space in this kitchen. Um, this is like our pans that don't fit in those cupboards up there. So that is them. And then on the other side, we have like baking trays and plates and another chopping board, which doesn't fit the wooden theme, all in here. So as you can see, they just about stack up perfectly with some extra space so if we get anything else that we need to put away then that cupboard and this one we just have a little space in there as well and there we have the finished kitchen so there you have it that is my full kitchen makeover clean up clear out Ugh. 
hope you enjoyed this video again do let me know if you want to see me do this kind of a video for my other rooms in my house because honestly there's nothing more refreshing to me than a huge clear out declutter clean reorganize it just makes my mind feel a little less stressed more at ease I enjoy it to be honest with you and I enjoy documenting it so that I can share it with you guys and spur you guys on to get cracking and get clearing out yourself if you need that little extra push then save this video and bookmark it and save it and come back to it later when you need that little extra motivation to get kick started on a clear out. I hope you enjoyed it, thumbs up if you did, subscribe for more and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys!